Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to start looking more professional on your next Zoom meetings or online conference, this is the video for you. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use your Fuji camera as a webcam. Now to make this happen, you're going to want to first download, this is a free software available from Fuji. You want to download the free Fuji X webcam software. And we're now on version two of this software. This software makes it super simple to connect your X series camera to the computer. Now you might be wondering why you should use your Fuji camera instead of just the regular webcam that's connected to the computer. So most people on their computers now do have a built-in webcam on their computer, their tablet, or their smartphone. Uh, this is a decent solution if this is all you have. But if you're watching this video, chances are you have a Fuji camera and this will allow you to look your best in front of the camera. So basically what you want to do is you want to install the software and use your Fuji as a camera to take advantage of the high quality image the Fuji gives you, better low light performance, and also the ability to use your camera in different locations, not right just right in front of you, like staring at you like a webcam, and also different lenses that are available with your Fuji camera. Now the Fuji X webcam software is available now for both Mac and PC and it supports the following cameras. X-T2, X-T3, X-T4, the X-H1, the X-Pro2, the X-Pro3. Also the X-A7, the X-T200. Also GFX cameras, GFX50R, GFX50S, and the GFX100. That's all, most of the Fuji cameras. Now a lot of the newer ones actually have this software built into them so you don't actually have to download this. Check your camera model. You'll all wanna make sure that you have one of these cameras, make sure it's updated to the latest firmware, and then you are ready to install this utility on your computer. Now once you've downloaded the software, simply install the application following the directions on screen, then you're ready to set up your camera. Due to the many quirks of cameras and webcam software, you're going to want to make sure you have all of your settings correct before you plug the camera into your computer and connect everything. On your Fuji camera, you'll need to make sure the camera is in the right modes. You'll want to set your camera to still photography mode, not video. And on the X-T4, this is the little switch on the top between still and movie. You want to make sure this is set to still. The drive mode, picture mode of your, of your camera should be in S. This is for single frame. And finally, for the connection settings, you want to choose USB tether shooting auto, or if that option isn't available on your model, select USB auto. Now next, we're going to be connecting the camera directly to your PC or Mac using the USB cable. Now when possible, you don't want to connect this cable to a USB hub. You want to have it connected directly to the computer. Now you can use the cable that came with your, uh, with your Fuji camera. You will find though that this cable is a little bit short. You're going to want to probably invest and pick up a longer USB cable. That will make things a lot simpler, especially if you're going to be wanting to putting your camera in a different location. Now just simply launch your compatible streaming conference app. One of the recommended applications is Zoom and inside the application, select Fujifilm X webcam for your preferred camera. This will be the selection on any of the conference app that you're using. You're going to want to select Fuji X camera. And then what this will do is it will share your video through your camera. Make sure your camera is turned on. And now to change the different video options with your camera, you just need to click on the X webcam version two app window that shows up. And this lets you choose the various settings and change the different settings of your Fuji camera. You can then choose a film simulation. You can activate instant autofocus. You can lock the exposure. You can adjust exposure compensation. There's a white balance adjustment, also digital zoom mag magnification. Uh, whatever settings you enable and save on the webcam app are saved for the next time you would connect your camera to your computer. Now it's also worth knowing that these settings do not change your settings on your camera. So when you unplug it, all your photo settings will be how they are set from before. So that's kind of handy with the Fuji. Have you used your Fuji camera as a webcam yet? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, lets me know you like the video and I'll keep creating more. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing, but also turning on the bell notification button. You'll get notified of new videos. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comments below as well. I try and answer every question. If you had another Fuji question unrelated to this video, let me know that as well. I'd be happy to answer it and hopefully try to answer it in a video for you. Until my next video, thanks for watching everybody and you can check out this one.